Dick, you can forget that first round win. These coaches have to tell their kids it's one and done in this second round game between the James Madison Dukes and the Duke Blue Devils. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Blue Devils should have a cakewalk tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them, you think? Hey, the keys for them should be straightforward tonight. First of all, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Second, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. Finally, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Basketball got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Trying to draw some contact. Too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. Both teams looking to get things going here. Hard foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He fakes the shot. They work the perimeter. The shooting guard gets the pass. Trying to feed the low block. And we've got a whistle and a foul. The Dukes will step to the line for the first time. He can't buy one. Free throw is good. Gave it up. The shooting guard with the ball on the dribble gives it up. He shoots from outside off the rim and no good. Perfectly executed. Try to go inside and they do. They got it on the low block. He looks at the hoop. He attempts a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. Pushing that basketball. Tries one from three-point land. Drains the shot. Break possibility coming. Makes the shot. Get out of the way, baby. That was absolutely sensational. Now trying to feed the low block. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. They work it around the perimeter. Moving it around the perimeter. They go into the low block. The center gets the ball. And he'll kick it back outside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. And a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Ball goes out of play. High post flashes. The shooting guard takes the pass. Ten on the shot clock. it around the perimeter 
The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. The Blue Devils have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. The point guard takes the feed, showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. He comes away with it. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. There's the pick. Gave it up. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Fires away. Way off target. Hey, only in college hoops will you see a mascot jump around like that. That's what I call spirit, baby. Unbelievable. I don't know if you saw that, Brad, but the mascot went nuts after that last dunk. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He runs the fast break. Turns it over. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Takes the pass in the paint. Hochstad picks up the defensive foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He'll go to the line. Duke, the ACC, they go hand in hand. Hey, they sure do, Brad. The players that Duke is able to sign are perfect for the ACC. Athletic, creative, some of the finest players in the nation. And he got them both. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Down inside, entry pass in the paint, goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> on the dribble, gives it up. Another turnover. You're not taking out the turnovers either. He is going to the line. He misses it. Second shot, good. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Great anticipation defensively. There's the trap. Tries for two. Duke are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Block shot usually creates momentum and opportunities. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Looking for a good shot. He strips him clean.
looks at a three. Off the rim and no good. Perfectly executed. Wow, that's worth the price of admission. down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebounding position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. They work it around the perimeter. He attempts the three. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? With the freebie. Gets the first shot. Duke are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Second shot, no good. Pushes it up. Up and inside. Double team now, bad angle. Great play to take that to the basket. For two, perfectly executed. They work the perimeter. In the paint. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing them to make that turn. Fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Makes the block. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. right there. Long down court pass. They let him get into a rhythm. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Makes a move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby, out of control. for two. We got a lopsided game so far, Dick. You've got to be prepared mentally and physically right from the start. You can't afford to give up these big early leads. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? They 
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Top of the circle. Makes it. The Blue Devils have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. And that's going to be an offensive foul for sure. What a great job defensively. What a super job. Great footwork. And he really draws the charm. Moving it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotating over. The defense moves so slowly. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? We're Brad and Dick down here on the sidelines. It looks like the losing team is starting to get a little bit anxious. Their coaches are reminding them just to relax. My observation is it looks like these bright lights have gotten the best of this team so far in the first half. Steals the pass. High post flasher is open. He's open if he wants the shot. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. perimeter gave it up for the bucket Duke are a nice little run at the moment partner they have to remember solid defense leads to good offense which is what we're seeing right now <laughs> trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing and they come with a double team to stop it intercepted Number 12, pump fakes. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. For two. I tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing the ball, ball fake, and good footwork keeping his pivot foot down. On the dribble, gives it up, leans in. Easy one. as a duck gets up to make the block. They push it up on the break. Jumps in. Oh, yes. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He nails the bucket. We'll get a better look on the replay. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He fouled him. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing. You get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Makes the first. Them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. MBN. The fake. This just great hustle and great defense with a steal. I'll tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Fires it down. Look 
We're going to move it around the perimeter. Controlling the ball. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Now they work it around the perimeter. Picked off. Easy two coming here. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Look at that spacing. Working it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. High post player flashing. Ivy, he rejects it. Great play to take that to the basket. Fakes it. Ooh, look at a shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. And the ball goes out of bounds. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. Tries for two. He kept his dribble and used the screen to get the nice look from inside. On the outside. Gave it up. There's the screen up on top. They work it around the perimeter. They work the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Defense giving some room. Ten on the shot clock. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. In the paint. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. <laughs> Defensively doing a great job down there. And he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out. And that's how he's winning that battle. that as a personal foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. He can't get one to fall. Dick, this team is having some serious problems at the free throw line. And it's a collective effort by all of them tonight. Misses the second. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. Trying to draw the foul. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Takes the pass in the paint. Ivy pounded on his way up. So he'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity.
Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. And the ball goes out of play. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. Yeah, he's on fire. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Goes. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The end of the first half. The Dukes trail by 13. This ride's been interesting, Richard. What's your highlight of the half? This stunt right here dazzled the folks in the cheap seats, baby. I hope we see more of the same in the second half, Brad. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. Duke shot a very good percentage in that first half. Patience and perfect execution. Paid a very big part in that, Brad. Great job by the offense. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Erin. <laughs> They're working around the arc. Way out on top, controlling the ball. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. Dumps it in. Good fake. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. Pump fakes. Gave it up. He launches a three. Way off target. Drops the bucket despite the harm. the perimeter this young guy is a crowd favorite dick he's very popular brad he has done some great things on the court and the people really appreciate him for it goes up for two basket falls despite the contact dickie's working on that low block on that right hip I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. All right, thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. Drips in clean. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. James Madison are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. The shooting guard receives the ball. Gotta think right now. Gotta focus defensively. 
for the deuce. He comes up empty. Great play to take that to the basket. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Lazy pass. No foul on that interception. No foul is right, Brad. That's Mr. Clean. <laughs> okay, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Gets it to go. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Looking for a good shot. Jumped in front to take it away. And he'll kick it back outside. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. He puts up the tray, goes in. Watch this! Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. Gives it up. Takes it off him. Defense got it after knocking it loose. The game is changing, Brad. These days, guys are consistently playing above the rim. The small forward receives the pass. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. They work it around the perimeter. He lets it go. He hits the shot. The Dukes are behind by 19. Adam. Momentary look from three-point land. Can't get it to go. Meeks handles the pass. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job. Fake. He makes the block. The ball goes out of bounds. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. Out there, but I always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots? Good opportunity. The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Working it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up for the bucket. Doesn't go. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Handles the feed. 
Looking to move it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Ten on the shot clock. Tries for two. And off the mark. Up and inside. With the shot. The crowd really quieted down after that shot. That shot made the crowd eat their words. Incredible basket. He shoots from long range. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. the shot clock he tries to knock down the three he's money with a shot that's been moved not going to work against the defense like that I tell you they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin the Dukes trail by 17 Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. They're working around the perimeter. Looking for the foul, and he scores it off the glass. The Blue Devils lead by 17. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. James Madison are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Too much. That's a foul. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. He goes to the line for the first time. First one, good. Both shots, good. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. From three-point land, gets it to go. Unloads a three, drains the shot. It's the replay, please. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. 
take the shot. That was nice. Stolen ball. Can you say Dunk City? Good. The Blue Devils lead by 23. Side. He shoots from the top of the key. He hits it. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, the crowd certainly hoped for a closer matchup. One side of the arena is celebrating in the stands, and the other one is just sitting there in complete disbelief. Guys? On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up, takes away the pass. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Goes out of bounds. Dick, let's take a look at right now at our backcourt production. Hey, team success depends on backcourt production, Brad. If you can handle the rock, make good decisions, penetrate, and knock down the open jumper, you give yourself a great opportunity to get to the winner's circle. He launches a three. It won't fall. Picks off the pass. With a quarterback pass for two, the lane. Intercepted, pushes it. Fake. Nice fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. And the ball goes out of play. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. The ball goes out of bounds. Things are going well, and it's going well for the school mascot, too. I tell you, I love those mascots. They put so much enthusiasm and energy in the way. Time to pick up the defense here now. Take it away. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Here's a double team. And he'll kick it back outside. Goes up for two. He used the screen perfectly to put in the inside hoop. This is what you're supposed to do down low, go up strong. I tell you, it was great post play. Put it 101 and how to explode to the goal. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Perfectly executed. Yeah. 
Nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now. These fans realize that this game is out of reach, Dick. That's what the fans came to see. Their team win. Five points, 10 points, 20 points. It doesn't matter. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. On the dribble, gives it up, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He kept his dribble at random defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. From three-point territory, great shot. Gave it up. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a close player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He goes to the free throw line. Hits the first. Both free throws go. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Kicks off the lazy pass. Look at that spacing. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Robs him of the ball. It's a fast break possibility. Goes up for two. Finger roll. There he is. Strips the ball loose. Side. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and they made an error, obviously. It's good. He drew the foul off a hard take to the hoop. Nice job, young man. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. He steps up to the line. Just like in practice. Now they work it around the perimeter. Intercepted. Length of the floor. On the outside. And now they'll bring it up. Makes the shot. Looking for a good shot. He throws it up from downtown. He buries the shot.
Let's watch the move as he works his man and on a fadeaway jumper. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Looks for a three-pointer. He hits the shot. On the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Shot clock is dead. Ball's kicked right back out. said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. The Blue Devils graduates to the Sweet 16 now with two big wins in the first round. Let me tell you, the coach has really lit a fire under the bellies of his players. Their opponents better come to play in the third round because these kids will be ready. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.